Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Both fighters are 31. Adesanya will have a one-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 12 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel the last This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight in paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on. Whoa! Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that with a leg kick, you 
start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks, and you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, no way, spinning back fist. We march on three minutes to go. Lands the right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all of those. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he landed the strike that he was looking for. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eight. Adesanya gets hit with a kick. Final minute of round one. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Adesanya. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time, this guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. All right, there's the clapper, 10 seconds to go. Way to control the posture of your opponent. Rotate him and then throw that big elbow around the guard. So a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Second round underway. Boy, Ty Clinch, a lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. Winded up on the right there to no avail. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fights. Oh, he heard a battle of the jab. Three minutes to go. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Adesanya gets caught with that punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Went for the inside leg kick. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. 
So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Big head kick! Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Single collar tie now. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. This third round of this championship fight. Oh, that's a nice fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, collar tie. Just missed with the left there. Again, they clinch. Big elbow there, Lance. Right hook attempt, no good. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> he has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Changes his stance. So unofficially, 69 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. And the connection rate pretty good, 44% accuracy tonight against Israel Adesanya. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar side. Ooh, what a punch. Yeah, he mixed it all up. Just over two minutes now to go. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Slips the left hand. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Adesanya. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Do not back up. Let's go forward now. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He never looked this good. Trying to hammer that big leg. Tremendous kickboxing skills on display there by the middleweight champ Israel Adesanya. I mean, Israel Adesanya does not give any tell when he's going to strike. He does not give you any indication that he's coming. That's why he's been so successful. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. 
they both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down with a strike that was really damaging the bird. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Got the single collar tie. I mean, he's cutting it down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's done! He's done! Just out of range with that left hook. Look at the turtle in that kick. Visibly limping here. Oh, the Superman punch lands! Alright, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh man, this is all. here. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Huge elbow there. How about those five minutes? All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. <laughs> what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Big knee to the body. And they separate. Oh, big roundhouse attempt. Just misses. Nice kick. Right hand lands upstairs. Whoa. 
Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll and see that's if he gonna can follow it up. Absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent. He became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the UFC heavyweight champion. And I'm not sure any heavyweight could have held up under that onslaught, a flurry of strikes to set up the TKO and championship victory here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Merkley out has called to stop to this contest. At one minute, 40 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO. Uh -huh.